Good evening, everybody. This is my hen, Snowball, and she is egg-bound. I didn't pick up on it this morning, so to, when I went back to pick her up and put her in the coop in the evening, I saw that she was still pretty uh, slow and stuff, so looked up how to do it, and everybody recommends an Epsom salt soaking which she's sitting in right now. She was sitting down in it earlier for about 20 minutes and now she just sat up and a lot of calcium. So I crushed up some pullet calcium and uh, crushed it to a fine powder and then mixed it with crushed up uh, mealworms and she just ate a bunch of that and hopefully she will be turning out better. So I have her in the kitchen sink. Snowball you're a good little chicken, aren't you? You're a good little chicken. Snowball. Sit down, Snowball. Come on. Get the rump in. Come on, Snowball. Easy does it. Get on. Down, down. Very good. It's still it's still comfortably warm. It's just I turned the light on so she doesn't want to settle down now because of the light's on. She's not usually the tamest bird. Um... But anyhow, you can see there's a bit of cruft in there. She had a bit of poop running down her bum, which I cleaned off once she got in. After this, and she's, she's really tight down there too. Very, very tight. Very tight and swollen. So I'm really hoping I'm not too late. If she was egg bound this morning when she came out, that means that the egg bound up in her. Um yesterday when she was going to lay because she's an afternoon layer and this means she's probably got two eggs backed up so I'm really hoping fingers crossed I don't lose her but that's what it is this is how you take care of an egg bound hen luckily I've got a kitchen uh, bathroom sink that's the perfect size and I've got a little kitten and she of course wants some attention it's evening Gracie's Gracie be quiet Snowball here hopefully she'll survive she didn't eat too much today she was kind of wandering on a little slowly and those are the symptoms they come out in the morning and they're not looking too well they're looking a little ill looking a little slow maybe they're waddling a bit more or their legs are a little abnormally spread with her it wasn't too noticeable but this evening when I picked her up underneath there she's real tight that's not normal and she had a bunch of dribble down her bum which is also not normal for her some birds is normal but for snowball it's not so I have her in this bath with Epsom salts and she's had a bunch of calcium now she had a bunch of calcium in a liquid solution earlier which I had to force feed her with a syringe right there and we're over 20 minutes now, so it's probably time for me to put her into a cage. I'm going to take her out. I'm going to dry her off. I'm going to put her in a box, keep her nice and warm, and hopefully she'll be not egg-bound tomorrow. If she is still egg-bound tomorrow, it'll be more food, water, um, warm soak, and uh, more of the same. So she's been soaking for quite some time. She likes the warm water. I'm not I'm not really pushing on her at all. Chickens are very easy to take care of. They're very smart. And she's tired. She's had a tough day. Alright. I hope that everything's okay.